it's me, uh, your faithful game demo person. Um, I've got out uh, kittens in a blender. I was going to try to do a demo just a minute ago, and I had a rules question, so I had to stop the video, and I, I'm starting over from scratch. Um, so, as you can see, we got kittens in a blender. It's pretty darn rad. You can pick this game up at Gamer Sanctum or River City Hobbies. Um, pretty sure. So, if if they don't have it, I'm sure they can get it in for you. It's just it's a really cute little game. Uh, so we have here two stacks of cards because it's just going to be me and an imaginary player. We're going to do two players. Um, so you pick your color. Uh, what card do you want? They have green, blue, yellow, and they call this color red, but I swear it's pink. So we're going to go with pink. Um, so I picked in the uh, other demo that got slightly shortened before I had to get a rules question sorted out. Um, yellow and pink for the starting colors. Um, and I'll go over the rules rules with you in just a minute. But um, my big question was, because it doesn't specify in here, um, how do you deal with these two cat decks? And it, it's really simple. You just shuffle them into the deck. But I wanted to make sure that it wasn't, that it was the right thing to do and that it was actually showing you how to play the game right. So kind of important. So yeah, so you shuffle the kittens that you're playing with into the deck. And because it's just me and an imaginary player, it's just pink and red. There's also green and blue, which are staying out. Um, I specifically didn't pick those because um, some people are slightly colorblind. And I know red can be an issue too. Um, like red, green. Red and green are the main ones, right? So um, you should be able to at least see red and yellow to some extent and they'll look different um i'm hoping they all have cute little names the cat the cats do so this is buster he's kind of ragtag and there's buttons looking kind of gooberific there's french fry oh yeah here's goober as i was saying gooberific yeah goober honey lucky Nibbles, Ninja is in a box. That's pretty cute. Uh, yeah, so there's just a bunch of really cool kitties here. And you're trying to save your kitties from going in the blender because the blender is an awful place. You want to you want to put your kitties in the box? That's how you earn victory points. This is how you get negative victory points. So and your your opponent is going to try to get as many of your kittens into the blender as possible. You want to get your opponent's kittens into the blender as much as possible. So you're, this isn't a game where you're going to be making any friends. Uh, and then you want to rescue your kitties and put them in this handy dandy box. And as you can see, I used the box the game came in. It's actually suggested, ooh, sorry. It's actually suggested in the instructions that you do that uh, to put. And then they need a little space in between that's called the counter. So... Let's see here. I'm going to go over these instructions detail-oriented this time. Um, let's see here. Contents. One oversized blender card. One oversized box card. 110 playing cards. Kittens. Which are these guys. Uh, kittens on the move. There's six of each number. Uh, kitties and, oh, whoops, sorry. Blends and eight blends slash pulses. Dogs in the kitchen, two left and two right. Two kittens in the blender. Two these kittens in the blender. Kittens on the counter. Kittens in the box. So the objective, as I stated previously, is save your kitties. Keep as many of your kitties safe as possible while sending as many of your opponent's kittens as you can into the blender. The person with the most points when no more kittens can be blended wins. Trust us, it's all in good fun. If you say so. 
set up. Put the game box on the table, that's the blender. Also put the box bottom on the table, that's the box. Technically they're both boxes, but details. Uh, place the oversized cards in the box halves. Leave some space between the box halves. That space is called the counter. Each player picks a color, red, green, blue, or yellow. The deck's deck contains 16 kittens of each color. If any color was not picked, remove all 16 kittens of that color from the deck. Shuffle the deck. Each player draws six cards from the deck. The caddiest player takes the first turn. Oops. It was supposed to be like a pretty rad unboxing video, so like this was even still in shrink wrap and all that good stuff. And ah, oh, rules questions. Can't get over rules questions. New games. And I didn't want to leave you hanging for like five minutes while I figured it out. So, all right. Yeah. So you get dealt. Oops. Sorry. No. There we go. All right. So on your turn, you must play exactly two cards. Each type of card can be played in a different way. Then draw cards until you have six cards in hand. If the deck runs out of cards, nobody draws any more cards. The player to your left takes the next turn. The game continues until all 16 blend and blend slash pulse cards have been played. Scoring. When all 16 blend cards and blend slash pulse cards have been played, the game is over. Count up the kittens under each box. Each of those cards scores two points for the player of that color. Then count, count up the kittens and under the blender. Each of these cards scores negative one point for the player of that color. Whoever, oh, winning the game, whoever is the most points wins. If there is a tie, then whoever among them tied players has the most blend and blend slash pulse cards in front of them wins. If that doesn't break the tie, then the game ends in a tie. And ev then everybody goes home and apologizes to their cats. Totally accurate. So here we go. Kittens, 16 of each color. Each kitten represents an adorable kitty cat. When you play a kitten, put it into either the blender, the counter, or the box. You may play kittens of any color. So that's where some of the strategy comes into play. You can play, you because they all get shuffled together. So I can draw one of these red slash pink kittens named Sugar Buns, and I can put it in the blender. And then it will be up to pink slash red player to get it out of the blender before it's actually blended. Alright, kittens on the move. Six each of one through three. Let's see if I can... There we go. So this, when you play this card, move any kitten or kittens a total number of moves equal to the number on the card. A move is a single kitten moving a single space. From the blender to the counter, from the counter to the box, from the box to the counter. For example, with a move three card, you can move three of your own kittens from the blender to the counter, or you can move one of your kittens from the blender to the counter, then move the same kitten to the box, that's two moves, and then an opponent's kitten from the counter to the blender, or any set of three moves. And that counts like some, there's two move ones. And also, one move ones. Let's see here, what else is in here? Alright, other cards. Blend. When you play a blend card, the blender activates. All the kittens in the blender are blended and put underneath the blender. Meanwhile, all the kittens in the box are saved and put under the box. And all the kittens on the counter move to the blender to await their fate. Leave the blend card face up in front of you. The reason you keep your blend cards face up in front of you is because it's used to break ties. Blend slash pulse. Each of the eight blend cards which has a pulse icon works exactly the same way as a blend. However, it can also be used in another player's turn to stop a blend from happening. So it's like a, whoa, stop. Uh, to use a blend slash pulse this way, play it immediately after someone plays a blend card. Then the blend doesn't happen. Put the blend slash pulse face up in front of you, then draw back up to six cards. Uh, dogs in the kitchen. Two left, two right. Each player passes their card to the person to their left or right, depending on which way the dog is pointing. Anybody who ends up with less than six cards draws back up to six. So in a multi, like, in a more than two player game, I mean in a two player game you're just going to exchange your hands. In more than two players, it's just going to keep going around until everybody ex 
gets their hand exchanges with the person next to them, either to the left or to the right. Uh, kittens in, a, in the blender. When you play this card, move all kittens that are in the box and on the counter to the blender. Oh, cool. these kittens in the blender. When you play this card, choose a color and move all kittens of that color that are in the box and on the counter to the blender. Wow. Those are evil cards. Kittens in the blender and these kittens in the blender. Wow. All right. Kittens on the counter. When you play this card, move every kitten that isn't in the blender on the box to the counter. That's pretty cool. So you move the kittens from the blender to the counter. All right. And then kittens in the box. When you play this card, move all kittens that are in the blender and on the counter to the box. That's pretty cool. So winning, playing this game should be fairly straightforward. Um, now we just got to shuffle all these cards together. That is the trick. I do not recommend shuffling them the way I'm about to. I'm doing it for expediency. This is very hard on cards. Um, ideally, I'll, after I do this stuff, uh, ideally I'll put them in sleeves. Um, to make sure they last a little bit longer. We, we sleep most of our card games. I know uh, many of you have played Exploding Kittens with me over the years, and all, especially at the uh, Coolicon Exploding Kittens competition, which is amazing. Um, we have so much fun. I've gotten so many pictures. There have been so many winners of Exploding Kittens. It's great. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, so I sleeve all my Exploding Kittens decks, so they last longer, and so there's no cards that can be uh, identified by the backs because they've been played with so much. So, highly recommend sleeving your decks of cards, just so they last a little bit longer. See, these are already getting a little bent because I'm shuffling them. A bridge shuffle. I think that's what it's called. A bridge. Yeah. Alright, so we start with the deck and then we each get six cards. We're going to go back and forth. I'm going to deal my opponent first. Okay, we got one of their own kittens. They got one of my kittens. Oh, you can't really see their cards. Okay, there we go. So this is their, this is my opponent's hand. This is my hand. Let me just put that right there. And another one of my kittens. I haven't gotten any kittens yet. Way of the game. Ooh, I got one of their kittens. All right. So. Uh, let's see here, because I am probably, well, I don't know, if they mean cattiest as in, like, cat person, I'd probably go first. If they mean cattiest person as in the snarkiest, I probably wouldn't. I'm not very snarky. Um, so why don't, why don't I go first, just to make this a little bit easier so I can explain what's going on. Uh, basically, I have one of their kittens named Sugar Buns. Totally cute kitten. I have to play two cards. So I'm going to play Trigger Ones. And then I'm going to do... I'm going to start this game off rough. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to blend that kitten. So... And as stated here, blend all kittens in the blender, save all kittens in the box, and move all kittens from the counter to the blender. So this one is already a negative one up. Negative one point for my opponent that goes underneath the blender to be counted later. This stays in front of me in case there's a tie, and then I draw back up to six cards. Now it's my opponent's turn. They have to play two cards. Two. Um, let's see here. They were not a real big fan of me blending one of their cats off the t start of the, you know, like super quick. Oh, well, let's see here, but they can't really do anything about it, so I think they're going to play this cute little kitty. I'm going to put it in the blender. 
And then I'm going to put my other, I'm going to put my other kitty in the blender because revenge is sweet. So that's their two cards they played. Now they draw back up to six. Man, they're getting all the good cards. All right. So let's see. What can I do? I have I have a kitties on the move card. All right. So I'm going to play kitties on the move. Um, this will probably go in the discard pile. I'm going to go one kitty here. Oh, what do I want to do? I'm going to go two kitty. So I put, that's my two, two moves. One, two. So that leaves one of my kitties still in the blender box, and I have one kitty in the box. Safe spot. Um, now I have two more cards, oh, not two more, I have one more card to play. I think, I move their cards again. I want you to be able to see those. Um, think do we have any you know all right I'm gonna play kitties and move again and move my kitty one space to the counter and then I draw up to six cards oh no I'm getting some good cards all right sweet all right so let's see here what are they gonna do They've got a kitty, kittens on the move card, and another kitties on the move card, and another kitties on the move card. They have pancake, which is their kitty, and they have blend pulse, blend pulse. So they can blend all the kitties in the blender, which there aren't any right now, or they can stop me from blending the blender because it also works as a stop card. Stop. Um, I think what they're going to do though for their first card is they're going to put that kitty in the box so it's safe now and they're going to do a move one to move my safe kitty to the counter because why not and then they draw back up to six Okay, that's their turn. I think uh, Vengeance shall be mine. I'm going to put one of their kitties in the blender. And I believe this is all the Blend Pulse cards that there are. Because they have three of them and I have three of them. Of course, I wouldn't know that in a real life game because their hand wouldn't be shown. Um, let's see here. So, what am I going to do? I have a kitties on the move card. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play kitties on the move. And I'm going to do one kitty movement. One, one, one. Alright, then I draw back up to six. I was wrong, there are more blind pulses in here. I might just check the bowls to see how many are in here. Eight. Alright. So those blend pulse cards are stop cards. I want you to be able to see this player's cards. No, that's alright. Alright. So I have a lot of pink keys. What are they gonna do? They're going to save their hardcore kitties on the move for when there are more kitties in play, I think. I'm going to play this one and get their kitty out of purgatory. So that's one card, one movement, one. Alright, and then they're going to play kitties on the move here. So he's got three movement. I'm going to take one, two, two movement, one. 
So that means my yellow kitty is now in the blender, and I've got a kitty in the box, and they got a kitty in the box. So, oh, and they draw back up to six. Let's see here, what am I going to do? I do not want to blend pulse my cats, but I'll put both of their kitties in the blender to make it more worth it when they do get blend pulsed. And I'm going to draw up to six. And what are they going to do? Well, let's see here. I only blended the one time, so they could. They don't want to do it to their own kitties. I think they're going to do this as their first card. They're going to do kittens in a box. Move all kittens from the blender and the counter to the box. So that's going to move. Three of their kitties and one of my kitties to the box. All right, and then there's their second card. Hmm, that may not have been a very good first card to play. They got five cards, and I don't think they can skip a card. So either they waste a blend pulse card. Or they move all the kittens from the box and the blender to the counter. Yeah, well, we're going to do that because they played that in the wrong order. We're learning. So it says here, kittens on the counter, move all kittens from the blender and the box to the counter. So that is going to be all these kittens in the counter. All right, and then they draw back up to six. Oh, let's see, what am I going to do? I don't want to do that either. Alright. See, I'm just not very evil. I'm like, I don't really want to blend any kitties. We're trying. We're trying. People more cutthroat than me should probably demo this game. But, it is a really cute game. Alright, let's see here. We're going to move any two kitties one space. Or... You need one kitty, two spaces. Because that's how it was explained in the rules. So we're going to do one, two, mm. and then we're going to do darn. Alright. We're going to move all kitties. I, I, don't, I don't have anything else to play. I did mine backwards too. Anyway, move all kitties from the counter and the box to the blender. So they're just all going to move here now. That's where they live now. Draw back up to six. Alright. Make sure they have six cards. They're like, boo yeah, More yellow cards in the blender. That's great. That's their first card. Um... And then as their second card, they're going to do three kittens move, move any three kittens one space, or any one kitten three spaces. However, they only need to move three kittens one space. Because they're going to move them to the counter. And then they draw back up to, see, they're strategizing. They're going to move, got to draw two more cards. And then I'm like, oh no, I have like all these cards in the blender. That's horrible. And they only have one cat in the blender. How can I switch this? I don't really want to pass. I don't want to do dogs in the kitchen. I'm going to have to, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, each player passes their card to the player on their left. So we'll just go whoop. You take those cards, I take these cards. 
let's see here. Yeah. Alright, so what have I got here? Oh, I like this. That means I can play my second card then. It says move all kittens from the blender and the box to the counter. So I'm just going to help all of us. We each have a good chunk of kitties on the counter. And then I draw one. And then this, then my opponent draws one. We have no way of moving any cats. Well, I do. Okay, but anyway. So it's this person's turn. And they're actually going to do... They're actually going to use their blend pulse. Because they have four of them now. So it says blend all kittens in the blender. There aren't any. Save all kittens in the box. There aren't any. And move all, counter, move all kittens from the counter to the blender or stop a blend. So they're going to move all these kitties into the blender. And then as their second turn, oh man, they really don't want to do that, but they might not have any choice. Um, I think I've got four kittens here. And no way to move them. Well, they're going to blend them. They're like, woohoo! It takes your kittens down too. So these all go underneath. So those are all the blended kittens. They're negative one point. There's only, there's no points in here. All right. And then they're gonna draw back up to six cards. All right. And then I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, there are no kittens left. They're, 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 oh yeah, this stays in front of them. I'm just going to set these right here. Because they determine ties. Alright, we may have a negative point game and try to determine winners through how many... Oh gosh, this is so broken. Alright, so, my turn. There are no kittens to move. I have blend cards. Well, we'll throw away a blend. I don't know if this goes into this pile or not because um, I didn't actually. Yeah, I probably do. All right, so we'll put that there. We'll put my blend card there. It doesn't do anything because there are no kittens on the board. No kittens for me to move. That's probably unheard of. Um, all right. All right, so we finally get some kittens here. So they're going to put their kitten in the box. And then they are going to... Uh, all right. Save all kittens in the box, so that's good. So this kitten gets saved by playing the Blend of Pulse card. So they're actually up two points now. Well, they have two points. They're negative like four. But, um, so then they're negative two right now. But I am like at negative four, which is horrible. Um, yep, because it said blend all kitties in the blender, save all kittens in the box, and move all kittens from the counter to the blender, or stop a blend. So I could have stopped them from doing that. I guess, because I have more pulse cards, but whatever. We're learning. Alright, so let's see here. We got Snuggles and Ninja. We got some more cats. I actually drew two cats. I'm going to do Nibbles in the box, and then I'm going to blend pulse and save my kitty, so I'm also negative two points now. We're working up from negative. Yeah. Alright, so next up. Draw up to six. Alright, what are they going to do? I think they're going to 
put I think you're gonna put ninja in the blender and then yeah they're gonna blend they're gonna blend one of my other kitties so I am negative four points again I think how many kittens are in here let's count them Two. Yeah, because these are each worth negative one point. When they go in the blender, they're negative one point. The box is plus two, so just an important distinction. So I got negative four points. They got negative five. You're not doing very good. We're blending all the cats. All right, let's see here. So they draw back up to four. I mean six. My apologies. Draw back up to six. Um, I have two pink kitties. We're going to throw them both in the blender. And I'm going to draw, those are my two cards I played. And then I draw back up to six. They are feeling kind of snarky, so they are going to. No, they are not going to do that. They're going to do. They're going to put this in there. Card number one. Cute little kitty. And then they're going to. I don't know why they put their own card in there. But anyway, move all kittens from the blender and the counter to the box. They get moved here. That is a huge stack of cards for me to deal with now in the box. Alright, let's see here. What are my options? I'm going to play Twinkle in the box. And then I'm going to do Dogs in the Kitchen again. I'm going to switch hands. Draw them back up to six. Immediately draw them back up to six. And that was my two cards. I played my kitty and dogs in the kitchen. And then I'm drinking coffee. It's like 10.30 p.m. and I'm drinking coffee. It takes a lot of energy to do a demo. Even if it's fake energy. All right, so their turn. They're gonna put. They're gonna do this. They're gonna move kittens in a blender. Move all kittens from the counter and the box. No, they're not gonna do that. They they have mostly most of their cats in there. That would be silly. They're gonna do this though. Kittens on the move. I'm seeing this imaginary player is just a lot more cutthroat than I am. Move any two kittens one space or any one kitten two spaces. One, two. That is my color. It is now in the blender again. Um, so here is... I think they're going to blend. Blend all kittens in the blender. Save all kittens in the box. And move all kittens from the counter to the blender. That goes in their stack. Now, for the kicks and giggles, I'm going to stop a blend. Stop. Well, you can't really read it on that one. Stop a blend. Oh, it's all fuzzy. Um, so that goes in my stack. So I stopped them so they can't do, they play their two cards can't do anything else. I, they draw up to six and I draw my up to six. You always have to have six cards and then my two, my two cards. What am I going to play? Oh, let's see here. We're going to move one of my kitties to the counter and we're going to put one of my kitties in the box. That's my two cards. Draw back up to six. 
And then they are going to do um, kitties on the move. I move my kitty back in the blender. What do they want to do? They really don't want to do that. They could do that. I think they're gonna they're gonna cut their losses here and do blend pulse. Um, so that I could stop it, but I'm only losing oh, I don't know losing one cat. Oh whatever. All right, so blend pulse. I'm not gonna stop it. That means this guy goes in the blender. Where all these guys get saved, but that means they just saved three more cats. I lost another one. But I gained one, so that's okay. We'll do all the math later. And then they draw up to six. And then I'm going to do what? I'm going to put two of my kitties in the box. Because I really need kitties in the box. And they. We're going to do kittens in a blender and move all my kittens from the box to the blender. And then they're going to play Snickers and put their cat in the box. This is not going well for me. All right, they drew their two cards. Now it's my turn. I'm going to play kittens on the move. One, two. And do this one, kittens on the move. One, two. Um, draw my two cards. My stack of cards is getting smaller. All right. So we both have cats in the box now. What are we gonna do now? They have two of my cats. They're gonna go directly into the blender because why not? And I'm going to be like, that's not very nice. So I'm going to put one of their pink cats in the blender. Make it, make it so they have to think twice. About blending the cats there. Put some of their own cats in there. Yeah. More kitties. All right. So now it's their turn. What are we going to do here? I think. I think they're going to put one of their pink kitties in here. Which is the most. There's two pink and two yellow in here now. And they're going to blend. Because they are just not very nice. And I'm like, no, one of my kitties are getting blended. Um, I'm definitely in a defensive stance this game. I think I'm going to stop it. I'm going to blend pulse. That stops. It blends too, but, but it can also stop. So I'm going to stop that one from happening. And then they're done. They did their dirty deeds for this turn. They draw up to six. I draw up to six. All right. They did their turn. Um, I'm going to move all one player's kittens to the blender. It says these kittens in a blender. Move all one player's kittens to the blender. So, so we're going to do that. I'm going to just get rid of all these pink ones. And then that's one card. I'm going to put... Another cat in there. Draw my two cards. Alright. Now what are they going to do? They're going to do kitties on the move. Let's see. Kitties on the move. They have 
they're going to do three kitties, one space. So now they're all on the counter. And then they're going to... They're going to blend pulse my cats when the pulsing is good. Because we are getting down to the wire. So we're going to pulse those kittens. Uh, these are all saved. Oh my gosh, they just saved three of their cats. I think they're beating me, guys. And then... Oh no, those were my cats. Anyway. But these get blended. Right. They draw up to six. I think you're getting a pretty good idea of how this game works. Um, I'm going to put two of their cats in the blender. Draw up to six. And you can see it goes fairly fast. I'm learning, so it's a little bit slower. I would guess it lasts about 30 minutes. If, if you know what you're doing. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour if you're first getting started. Hopefully this tutorial and demo will help you play this game super fast. Because then you can play more kittens in a blender. Which is awesome. Maybe best two out of three. Alright. Um, let's see here. It's their turn. I threw a couple of their cats in the blender. Uh, they're going to do kittens on the move. And they're going to move all their kittens to the box. Uh, and then they're going to do kittens on the move. One. One, two. One. Alright, that's three movement. They are done. They're going to draw the last two cards. And we were like, no, you cannot not do that. Um, so I'm going to throw one of my cats in there. Another one of my cats in there. And there's no more cards to draw so it goes to their turn. Um, they're going to do dirty stuff. They're going to put my cats in the blender. Two of them. And they're like, I can't be the only one with a cat in the blender so I'm going to do that. And then um, blend so this will save all these cats, and I'll blend these ones. All right. Oh, and he goes into the blender when I do that. After, yeah, it says, blend all kitties in the blender, save all kittens in the box, and move all kittens from the counter to the blender. So, in that order. So the ones on the counter don't get blended, they just get moved to the blender. No more cards, it's not my turn, it's their turn. Uh... They're going to do kitties on the move. One, two. Uh, I'm going to do dogs in the kitchen. Pass some cards around. Can't draw up. They're done with their turn because they played two. And then this is my turn. I'm going to play these kittens in a blender. And put their kittens in a blender. Uh, can use on the move. I guess I'll move it there. Uh, let's see here. Blend. Dogs in the kitchen. No more cards. So let's see what happens to kittens in purgatory in the counter here. How to score. Whoever has the most points wins. If there is a tie, then whoever among the tie players the most blend and blend pulse cards in front of them wins. Let's see here. Alright, so I think the kitty here just stays here. It doesn't say anything specific. So let's count up points. Box. So they got two, 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 two. Well, I have a lot more kittens in here than I thought. That's pretty cool. They have an equal amount of cool kittens in there. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. They have eight kittens in the box. So they're ahead of me by two points already. 
So for every two kittens in the blender, I take away one of these cards. So here's two. Take away one of my points. Point cards. Here's two. Take away one of my point cards. Here's two for pink. Take away one of their point cards. Two for pink. Take away two of their points. Here's another two for pink. Take one of their points. Here's two for me. Take one of my points. Take one of my points. And then each of us has negative one from our total. So two, four, six, minus one equals five for me. Two, four, six, eight, ten, minus one is nine for them. Pink wins. So that is the end of this demo. It is pretty cool. I like this game a lot. Uh, not a fan of putting kittens in the blender per se, but I much prefer sticking them in a safe old box that cats love. But it's, it's a really cute game. I think everybody will really enjoy playing it. Uh, like I said, highly recommend getting the game. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up on Discord under the Coolicon server. You can see that uh, I think there's a link to the Coolicon Discord at coolicon.com. Uh, I'm Zenith Jade on there. Um, yeah, it should be awesome. I hope to see some of you there, and I really hope you like my demo. All right, I'll talk to you all later.